the natural world is rapidly changing due to climate change, which, as humans, we have caused. Now, I firmly believe that climate translocations should be considered a viable conservation strategy in certain cases, but not for all. But for some species, it may be the only option that we have. Consider the pygmy blue tongue lizard, for example. Now, in 2012, it was the subject of a study by Australian scientists, and I'll give you the title of that study, but it would take a minute and a half for me to recount it, so just check my Assignment 7 post. Now, it's an endangered lizard, uh, mainly because of habitat conversion. They thought it was extinct, they rediscovered it, and now has less than 100 square kilometers of habitat left. And because of climate change, that habitat is expected to be altered, and the lizard potentially to face extinction. And because of its, one, low dispersal rate, and two, its relatively high longevity, it may be a candidate for climate translocation. So the goal of these scientists would discover if, in fact, that was true. So they have these models that they construct with climate and population, then they come to their conclusions, their thesis being, and I quote, Empirical models and genetic goals suggest that managed relocation has merit for some species and scenarios, including the pygmy blue tongue lizard. Now let's dive a little bit deeper into that. So they have habitat submodels with climate as the main factor, habitat submodels with the grasslands as the main factor. One says that the lizard will face extinction, one says that it won't. So it's not a statistical certainty that in the climate change scenario that we're about to face, this lizard will go extinct if no action is taken. But we can generally say that it's very probable. But the part that I found the most interesting is there was one scenario with a management strategy of putting in artificial burrows. And in the end, they found that those burrows had little to no effect on reversing the population trends of that lizard. So the traditional conservation strategy here did not work and was insufficient. Now, there are a few problems with the analysis. Really, the main one being is that they don't consider relocation sites in any great depth. They just say, oh, we can relocate them and they'll be fine. And that's just not true. As we know, we really need to consider that. But we can conclude something from this article. The Chris Thomas article that we read in class said that endemic species are candidates for climate translocation. And I'd like to offer this paper propose a bit of an addendum to that in that uh, it should be endemic species with one, low dispersal rates and or two, relatively high longevities that should face potential climate translocations. And climate translocations aren't ideal, but the more we discuss them, the more we talk about them and consider them and study them, like this article does, the better we'll get at doing as much good in this world as we possibly can.